Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Jamaican X, or Jamaican 10. I'm not sure. I've only ever seen one reference to it, and I saw it on Instagram. Uh, however, having said that, it's an interesting-looking cocktail, and it's a Caribbean-style cocktail. However, it does not have rum in it. It has tequila, and silver tequila at that. So this is going to be a very interesting cocktail. So you know what? Let's get into it. Now this is a shaken cocktail that contains six different ingredients. However, we're not going to shake all of the ingredients together, which will give us a layering effect. Now before we get started, what we're going to do is grab your glass of choice. Now in this case it's a martini glass, and we're going to have to dress the glass first. So grab your lime, and what we'll do is we'll cut that in half, and then rim half of the glass with the juice of the lime, and then dip it gently in sugar. Oh yeah! Absolutely gorgeous, look at that. Now what we're gonna do is put that off to the side and we're gonna grab our shaking glass because what we're going to do is squeeze in half an ounce or 15 millimeters of lime. Beautiful. Now having done that, we're going to add in some orange liqueur. Now I'm using Cointreau for this. You could use triple sec, again, totally up to you. However, we're going to use the same half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Beautiful. Now, having said that, and I know this seems counterintuitive that we're skipping the pineapple juice, but again, this is because of the layering effect. We're going to grab our tequila of choice. Now, I'm using Cazadores tequila. It's a silver tequila, and we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Beautiful. Love this stuff. Now, the next thing we're going to use is a little bit of blue curacao. Now, we're going to go back to our small measure for this, and we're going to use another half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Perfect. Look at that blue color. Absolutely fantastic. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to take our tin, we're going to fill it with ice, and what we'll do is we will shake this for a good 15 seconds hard. Pour that in like so, and we'll shake it with a smile. Yeah, let's pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. Now what we're going to do is just put this off to the side like so. Now you're going to grab your partially uh, sugared glass room. Partially sugared glass room. Your partially sugared martini glass. I'm getting all excited because I want to try this. However, the Langer effect actually comes down to what they call specific density or gravity, specific gravity or fluid density. So the more sugar that's actually in a fluid, the heavier it is, so it has a specific density that's heavier than, say, the tequila or the Cointreau. So this is where you'll get your layering effect. Now, the way we're going to start this is we're going to use our 100% pure-pressed pineapple juice, and we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. That looks really good, but you can't go wrong with pineapple juice because pineapple juice always looks good, right? So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we are going to slowly layer the uh, fluids in that contain our uh, Cointreau, our tequila, our lime, and our blue curacao. And you're going to do that by placing a spoon upside down on the edge of the glass, and we're going to pour gently over that so it doesn't mix everything all the way through. Now there will be some mixing, Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Mm, tastes good too. So what we are going to do now is use our final ingredient, which is a Rose's Grenadine. Now this is the bright red uh, Grenadine, and it is very heavy and full of sugar. But what we are going to do is we're going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. And what that will do is, again, we're just going to, as I swap hands, we're going to pour it down the side so that it layers nicely at the bottom, just like so. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it turned out gorgeous, exactly the way I wanted it to turn out. Now we're almost done, we are gonna garnish this, and we're gonna do that with a little bit of lemon, and what we'll do is we will just cut ourselves a little wedge, like so, and place it on the top like this. Beautiful, look at that. Now this is a Jamaican X, or a Jamaican 10, whatever you want to call it. 
It looks fantastic. Now this is a sweeter drink. It tastes really, really good. And for the sake of the thumbnail, I'm not actually gonna take a sip of this because you know what? I know it's really good because I've already made one or two or three. Anyways, having said that, if you think I should do something different, please leave a comment down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put out a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support our channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.